Hi, I'm Noah Cohen. Welcome to my kitchen. My mom, Esther Cohen, is director of membership at the temple, and today I'm so excited to be making one of my family favorite desserts, a cheesecake for Shavuot. So, let's get started. This is what we're gonna need. 16 ounces of straight out of Philly cream cheese, 16 ounces of sour cream, one cup of granulated sugar, three large eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the crust, you're gonna need one third cup of melted butter, three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. Normally for the crust, we would use graham crackers, but because I have celiac, we're gonna make this cake gluten-free. And because of that, we're gonna use two and a half cups of crushed Cheerios. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, you're gonna take three scoops of Cheerios, put it into the food processor, and crush it! Next step is to combine your crushed Cheerios or graham crackers, brown sugar, and melted butter. Now that it's mixed, we're gonna press it into the bottom of a springform pan. So now that we're done, we're gonna put it in the oven for five to seven minutes. We're gonna beat our eggs and cream cheese for three minutes on medium speed. Next, you're gonna add in your sugar and vanilla extract and beat it for three more minutes. We're gonna add our sour cream and beat for an additional minute. Pro tip, do not overbeat or else your cake will crack. Another pro tip from the Temple's executive chef, Larry Green, add half a teaspoon of lemon zest into the batter to give it some pizzazz before pouring it into the crust. Next, we're gonna pour our batter into our crust. Final pro tip, we're gonna create a water bath to put our pan in that helps keep the cake moist and prevents cracking. Set your timer for 30 minutes. Hmm, now that I think about it. Hey Rabbi, why do we eat dairy for Shavuot? Well Noah, that is an excellent question. There are many explanations, so here are just a few of them. One has to do with gematria, this Kabbalistic understanding that each Hebrew letter has a numerical equivalent. And so the word halav, which means milk, is equal to the number 40. And Moses spent 40 days on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments, which we, of course, honor and celebrate on Shavuot. Another is that the land that was promised to the Israelites was a land of milk and honey. And therefore, on Shavuot, we should be honoring this land that we were promised in the Torah, a land of milk and honey. Then, another explanation. When the Israelites received the Ten Commandments in the Torah, they also received the laws of Kashrut, which means all the meat that they had been eating up until that point hadn't been killed according to kosher laws. And therefore, after they received the Ten Commandments, all they could eat is dairy until they could figure out how to start enlisting the laws of kashrut and how they ate their animals. So, those are just a few of the many reasons why on Shavuot we eat cheesecake and blintzes and sour cream and cheese and ice cream. Hope this helps. Thanks, Rabbi. We just took our cheesecake out of the oven and it looks amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool for about 30 minutes and then put it in the refrigerator for an hour. We did it! So this is our cheesecake and it looks so good. We added some strawberries on top just for some decoration and flavor and now we're gonna take a bite. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's so good. Thanks for watching. Chag Sameach. Hi. I'm Noah Cohen. So, my. <laughs> Hi, I'm Noah Cohen. <laughs> so excited to be making my family's, one of our favorite desserts, the traditional cheesecake. <laughs>
<laughs> and turn yourself around. That's all the time. And mix it with some lemon zest because we can. It's so good.